Hello and welcome to Paul Ricard, the third round of the 2017 Euro Formula Open season. Well, so far, the story of the season has been about one man, Harrison Scott, who's won three of the four races that we've had so far. He did get beaten in Spa by Mayor Weidenithen, so it may not be plain sailing to the crown, the British driver. Paul Ricard's circuit always produces interesting racing for these Formula 3 cars, so let's have a look at how the weekend unfolded. Lining up in pole position, it was Harrison Scott who got the jump from the line, although Nikita Troitsky and the Mayor Weidenithen were also well away, as behind Taro Reddy was in trouble, colliding with Christian Hahn before they made it to turn one. But as Scott eased into the lead on the early stages, he was not to be headed as behind. Battles began to form. It all went very sideways for Simo Laxton. And he was fortunate to avoid contact with Daniel Frenenko and Christian Hahn. Thiago Vivacqua, true Fresco, Matthias Iorio enjoyed a race-long scrap as Hahn pushed a little bit too hard. This was the move that gave the Mayor by the third place. The inside of Yanni Vitya thereafter the Indian was able to ease clear. It was a great scrap for fifth position, eventually decided in favour of Eliseo Martinez, who was able to make that move with the Dubois de Bose to moat Alex Karkozik, Lodovico Laurini, Christian Hahn and Simul Axenen, meanwhile were involved in a frantic fight for 13. In front of the field though, Harrison Scott was in complete control for the afternoon and as a result came through to score his fourth victory of the season. Leading home Nikita Troitsky who claimed rookie honours once more second place with Emea Weidenithen completing the rostrum with Yanni Fittier and Isaiah Martinez rounding out the rookie podium so another triumph for Scott and RP Motorsport what did I say um, fantastic to be here once again on the top step which shows really the incredible effort that the um, guys of RP Motorsport are putting into it. And um, yeah, no, it's, it feels really good to be back here once again. Are you unstoppable? Um, I don't know, really. It feels at the moment, obviously, that everyone seems to be getting closer and closer in a way, but in a way, we're also getting further, further away from them. Um, I think, yeah, it's just a combination of I'm getting more and more confident with the car. Um, both me and the team are understanding what we've got to do and, and how to perform and um, yeah, no, it just feels, it feels fantastic once again. From pole position, Harrison Scott got jumped by Nikita Troitsky as they sprinted towards turn one. The Russians slightly cleaner on the getaway as Yanni Fitcher was able to turn through in third place. Heather Karkozik and Vida Nyfen. Behind, there was drama as Mateus Iorio got launched by Alessio Martinez and broken suspension put the Brazilian out of the race. Down the Mistral straight for the first time and Harrison Scott left it all out there to get around the key to Troitsky and take a lead that he wouldn't concede. Behind, there was some fantastic fighting. Thiago Vivacqua, Christian Hahn and others went wheel to wheel. Likewise, Pedro Cardoso and Alexi Chuklin enjoying a good tussle, which was eventually decided in favour of Cardoso. Notwithstanding the very best efforts Chuklin, who was giving it his all in the Fortec car. Meanwhile, Alex Karkozik had a very busy afternoon. Having been passed by Devlin De Francesco, he then came into the crosshairs of Petru Florescu and Thiago Vivacqua, eventually having to concede to both Campos drivers before settling for eighth. Nonetheless, it was some excellent wheel to wheel racing. Harrison Scott, though, Aside from that first lap, it was an untroubled afternoon and he came through to score he and RP Motorsport's fifth victory in six races, further extending his championship lead. Second place and the rookie win went to Nikita Troitsky with Yanni Fitcher scoring his first podium with third. It was a little bit tough actually. I didn't get the best of starts um, yesterday. I bogged down quite a bit off the line, so I thought, so I'll try something different and went the complete opposite way and had loads of wheel spins. So, um, yeah, Nikita got past me at the start and then I knew I've been good all weekend in sector one, so if I could stay close to him on that first lap, then I'd have a chance in the slipstream down to the chicane. And as I did, yes, um, put up a bit of a fight, but luckily managed to keep it clean. 
Um, keep all four wheels on, on the car and yeah, from then it was just about putting in the fast lap times. Um, but yeah, it's never difficult, especially when it's this hot. But no, really happy. To get. Yeah, it was very hot and the tyres suffered, I saw. Yes, definitely. Um, I mean, Michelin have, have quite a soft compound, so they went off, they go off quite a lot as the race goes on. But um, no, just about managing it and yeah, the, the car was fantastic and it, I was able to push really straight from the off and um, yeah, kind of all the way to the end as well, which was really good.